This is where the fun begins. The first thing I want you to install is Node.js. Now in this course, we're not gonna use Node. We're only gonna use one of its built-in tools, Node Package Manager or NPM, to install third-party libraries. So if you don't have Node on your machine, head over to nodejs.org and download and install the latest stable version. Once you do that, open up the terminal on Mac or command prompt on Windows and run this command. npm i, which is short for install, dash g, which is short for global. And here's the package we're going to install, create dash react dash app. We're gonna use this package to create a new React app. Now, I want you to install the exact same version I'm gonna use in this course, because in the future, there might be breaking changes and you might get frustrated if what you see is different from what I'm gonna show you. So here, at sign, version 1.5.2. Now, if you're on Mac and you haven't configured permissions properly, you need to put sudo in the front of this command. So, sudo. With this, we'll run this command under administrative privileges. Let's enter the password. Okay, beautiful. Now the next thing you need is a code editor. The code editor I'm gonna use in this course is Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Chances are you use the same because it's a beautiful, lightweight and cross-platform editor. If you don't have it, you can download it from code.visualstudio.com. So here's VS Code. We're gonna install two extensions that make it easier to build React applications in VS Code. So open up the extensions panel on the left and search for simple React snippets. Here's the extension I'm talking about. It's developed by Burke Holland and currently there are more than 40,000 downloads. Very, very popular extension. So install it and then you will have to reload VS Code. The other extension we're gonna install is Prettier. So search for Prettier, Prettier Code Formatter. This one is developed by Espen Peterson, and currently there are more than 2.7 million downloads. We use this extension to reformat our code. Now, one thing I highly encourage you to do so is to enable formatting on save. So whenever you save the changes, this extension will automatically reformat your code. To do that, you need to go to the settings page. Now here I'm on Mac, I'm not entirely sure how to do this on Windows, but that should be pretty straightforward. So here on Mac, we go to the code menu on the top, then preferences and finally settings. So here on the right side under user settings, I want you to add this setting. Editor, that format unsave, set this to true. And finally, let me show you what theme I'm using here because that's a question I get quite a lot. So on the top, go to the code menu, preferences, color theme. This is the theme I'm using. So IU or AU Mirage. So I leave it up to you to download and install this if you want to. Next, we're gonna create our first React app. 